What is the ERC721 standard? Hey, and welcome to today's video. My name is Julian. I'm one of the co-founders of 10X. On my personal channel, I talk about general crypto stuff to make you crypto fit, understand blockchain, decentralization, cryptocurrencies, and so on. And I received a lot of questions on what is this new Ethereum 721 standard? It's not that really new, but what are these non-fungible tokens? And what is this kind of standard? And most people have heard of the so-called ERC-20 standards. It's pretty much the standard where every token that is created on the Ethereum platform is alike as the other one. So for example, at 10 we have approximately 200 million pay token. Every pay token is the same as everyone else. And when people buy one token, they know it's the same worth as another one. That's called fungible. Now, these non-fungible tokens are tokens where every token represents a similar class, but all these class, all these tokens within this class are different. And an example of non-fungible tokens would be, for example, CryptoKitties, where every one of those digital kitties is different. But these standards could actually be used for a lot of things out there. For example, real estate. You could have houses, and every one of those houses is one of the tokens of one class, but they're all different. And there's a lot of these basically possibilities, and what this should do is, it should help developers not to having to go through all the complicated things that, for example, the developers of CryptoKitties had to go through to create this game, but to have it a lot easier with some variables that get defined and some rules that get defined. And if you want, I have linked down the GitHub repository down there. You can read up on it in detail. Um, the code, obviously, as always, is open source. And if you want, with one, two, three, you can create your own NFT non-fungible token. So I hope that explains these things. There are some other Ethereum proposals, like, for example, 999, where then one of these non-fungible tokens can own another non-fungible or a fungible token. So basically, that a kitty could own another kitty, or a house can own another house. And obviously, this can get very interesting along the way what's possible there. So I hope that kind of clears up the differences between ERC-20, ERC-721, and in this case, also added in 999. Um, if it's not clear, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, with otherwise, subscribe to my channel for more. Give me a thumbs up and share this video in your community so people understand the concepts and the basics of becoming CryptoFit. All the best in the meantime. See you at the next video. Yours truly, Julian.